Welcome to the social space. Hey, I'm Eric Cross, and I gotta remember we're on the radio, Andrew. That's gotta, true. I, gotta, that's I, wasn't true. Say, I didn't say my name for months. Yes. And then when I realized Jackie's husband didn't even know my name. People need to know who you are. <laughs> they do. <laughs> and if you think Jackie's looking different over here today, she is. This is actually Vicky Carr, owner of Casa Manana. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's like I was reminding you. Yeah. She will be. Uh, you know, normally we we um, have our we have one guest and then we take a break and we take another but you know we uh, we're down a person today jackie's out there drumming up business for it yep. so we're gonna let them both be on at the same time to my right is willie Harmon. i guess you probably own oh, willie's place yes sir we okay <laughs> why you mean call casa manana vicky's place that's true <laughs> oh that is true i didn't even <laughs> think about that and everybody knows andrew bell of course over here keeping them girls in line over there uh at your house. my daughters <laughs> yes i'm talking about all four of them <laughs> No. I try. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, and in front of us on the table, we have a spread from both places. I'm just going to spoiler alert. Some of this food is from Casa Manana. Some of it's from Willie's Place. I'm sure you can guess which is which. <laughs> and it smells good. It smells so good in here. And we did just have lunch, and I am hungry again. Real quick, we got to thank our sponsors, and we're going to get it to it, guys. Uh, our uh, partners, News Channel 6 is our partner. We air 1035 Sunday nights. A little later, if there's a sport, um, Saturday morning, 1030. News Talk 1290, we air, that's part of Town Square Media, and then Tanya and Sean Choate from Falls Truck, and what do they call it, Impact Signs. Yes. They are our other lovely partners. Yes. Okay, yep. Vicky, for yeah. those who don't know, been living underneath the rock, how long has Casa Manana been around? We have been in business since 1947. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're looking forward to our 75th year next year. That is and such we're a gonna have a big blowout. Oh, is that right? Yes. I mean, the restaurant business is so hard to be around for 75 years. That's Same amazing. location too, right? Yes, that's right. the original restaurant. We used to have three locations. We had one on Scott Street that was a drive-in and it burned down in the 1970s. And then we had one on the old Iowa Park Road and it closed down in 1980. Wow, so this one out here has just seen so much. Yeah. I mean, back when the Holt was uh, office, uh, office buildings yeah. or ho actual hotel, that's mm -hmm. crazy. So you guys, I'm not even gonna ask you, we know what you're most famous for over there, it's the Red Taco. Of course. So tell, us, <laughs> tell, so tell people from around the world what, what a Red Taco is, Vicki. Well, Red Taco is a soft and crispy shell. It has pork and beef filling and then your lettuce and cheese on top. And somebody asked me one time, why the red taco? Why uh -huh. would you have a red taco? And I said, why not have a red taco? That's right. <laughs> it's, it's been our main source of people knowing our brand. So when you say red taco, they know Wichita Falls, Texas, Casa Manana. That's right. Yeah. Vicki, where did all these recipes come from? Well, my father-in-law in 1947 came back from World War II as a uh, prisoner of war. Mm. Oh, and wow. he decided he was going to open a Mexican restaurant. And I said, why did you open a Mexican restaurant? You're Greek. And he said, I wanted to make money. <laughs> so, <laughs> he went to, I think he went to Mexico and kind of looked around down there and saw what kind of machinery they had and what he needed to put together everything. And he came back and he started working on all these recipes. Huh. So all these are developed by the Carr family and passed on each generation. Uh -huh. that's oh, that's incredible. I had no idea. So, and so back then, mm -hmm. I, I guess there probably was not a Mexican restaurant on every, you know, no. as many as there. So he actually went to Mexico he to went, figure out how uh -huh. they were making he this did. stuff. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. What uh, what was the show that was here uh, two years ago? Uh, Day Tripper. Day Tripper, mm -hmm. and they came to Casa Manana. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Chet Garner, uh -huh. he's the uh, main guy that interviews. He had heard of us five years ago. Uh -huh. And he said, I, if I ever go to Wichita Falls, I'm going to Casa Manana. So he showed up on our doorstep and we had a ball. Yeah, that's great. That I is got, awesome. I got of that. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite things about Casa Manana is the chips and the mm -hmm. hot sauce. Mm -hmm. I can back that up. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat it all uh -huh, day long. Uh -huh. But why did y'all choose to go with like a, a thicker style of chip? It's a thick chip. Rather than like a, you know, traditionally you, you would see them thin, I guess. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, for one thing, it's the press we have. We cook the corn grinding and make our own masa. And then we have a press in the back that cuts them out and floats it into a grease bath. And they stay in there and float to the end and the girl dips them out. So uh, one thing I think makes them thicker is homemade masa. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And there's not many places that make their own masa. In fact, we make the red tacos with our own masa too. So, so Andrew wants to know what masa is. I know, but I, <laughs> could you tell him what it is? It's like, a corn, I guess you could say flour, uh -huh. but it's it's meal, and it makes kind of, uh, I don't want to say gooey, but a kind of paste, uh -huh. kind of doughy type substance. Oh, tamales are in yeah. the masa. Oh, tamales. okay, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. another masa. Oh, that's a different yeah, type of masa? it's different. Okay. It's just the way you, you make it, like water or ingredients or whatever. Okay. So the, the less water you're going to have, the thicker your moss is going to be. So that's one thing on this. On the tamales, you're going to have thinner moss to make it with. Oh, okay. Willie, what, what's your favorite thing at Casa Mignana? Red tacos and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to think about it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That's what I've ate there. Got to have special enchiladas. Yeah. Yes. That's what I ate over yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. The, I've, that's the only thing I've ever ate there. Yeah. Now, my, my wife likes to go down there, and when they used, and I don't know if you still do. Do you still serve fish sticks? No. We don't <laughs> I was like, what? Too many people my wife putting loves the all tacos the food, in the but, fish grease. But she come down there and order fish sticks. I just look at her like, yeah. you're in a Mexican restaurant. Why are you ordering fish sticks? I know this. Growing up, we'd always go to Red Lobster on my birthday because that was the fanciest restaurant in Waco yeah. in uh -huh. the 80s, you know? And uh, my brother would always get a hamburger. I'm like, yeah. he didn't like seafood, you know? I don't do seafood. <laughs> So you, so you guys have had that place for a long time. Is there any memories or any stories that stick out? I mean, any, what's the craziest thing that you, you've seen being in oh a restaurant? Oh gosh, out? I don't know. We have crazy stuff every day. <laughs> I'm trying to think. We did, I, I really can't think of anything offhand. I probably could tell you a lot, write a book, but yeah, nothing really sticks out. Like I said, we have crazy stuff every day. Oh, I'll tell you, I, I bartended for, uh, for 20 years, it was always kind of like my, my night job. Mm -hmm. And I tell people all the time, until you've been in the restaurant, bar business, you there's there's nothing as hard as that is. Yeah. Mentally and physically, it is, it is uh, you gotta be on your toes. Yeah. And you know, there's such a, a shortage right of right now, of help right now, you know. And yeah. So you get a lot of new waiters around here. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to memorize that order. Yeah, like your wife. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So so Vicky, are there other mm -hmm. people like in your family that work mm -hmm. at Costa and will this be kind of work itself through the family and to yes. stay open for years and years? Well, let's see. We're on the fourth generation. Okay. Uh, my father in law, my husband, my son, and my granddaughter will take it over. Okay. Uh, she's at art and design school. She's worked there all through school, so she knows the in and outs of restaurant work. Okay. But she's an artist, so she's pursuing that career. And I told her one day, I said, You do know about starving artists, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> don't starve at Casa Mignon if you take yeah. over the business. Yeah. I said, Casa Mignon will be your factor. <laughs> Well, speaking of art, uh -huh. uh, because I happen to live across the street, I have been watching you guys repaint uh -huh. uh, that little mural out front. Yeah. Paint that mural out front. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So if you haven't come down uh -huh. in a while, folks, to come down to eat, come out at least uh -huh. check out the mural. Eddie Mandela did that. Oh, is that he, right? Yes. I came yes. by every morning, and gave yes. him encouragement. Look, yes. that's good. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm sure, do you see it as a streak when you run by? Uh-huh, it looks just like <laughs> blurred paint when I'm running. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much, Vicki. We're about time out of, for uh, about done with time for your segment. We will like okay. you to stick around for the second sure. segment. Would you want to tell people that don't, who happen to not know uh, your address, uh, your, your Facebook page, anything, okay. how to get a hold of y'all? Well, we are on 609 8th Street. We've been there since 1947. And if you have never come to eat with us, you're sure missing something out. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Right there, right down here in Depot Square. Yeah. 100, 100 yards that way. That's Thank right. you so much. We're going to continue our local awesome favorites. I guess we're calling this one when we uh, come back and we're going to talk to Willie here. We're back. <laughs>
four incredible radio stations. That's who we are. We are Town Square Media, and we bring the best of radio to the North Texas area. Wake up early with News Talk 1290. That's us. How about Kelly Raspberry on 92.9 NIN? Yep, that's us. Bringing you the best of country with 102.3 The Bull. That's us. And rocking it all day long with 106.3 The Buzz. That's us. We are Town Square Media, and we're proud to be a sponsor of The Social Space. Hey, welcome back to The Social Space. This is our local favorite foods edition. Andrew Bell still over there. Vicki Carr over there, Vicki with an I, and then uh, <laughs> Willie with an I-E, Willie Harmon right over here. Uh, Willie, of course y'all were both here for the last segment, but we uh, uh, now we're really kind of more uh, fo focusing on your restaurant. So once again, same question for those living underneath a rock or maybe you've never been to Wichita Falls, what is Willie's place? How long y'all been around? We opened up Labor Day of 09, so we're working on our 12th year. Okay. So, uh, we're over on the corner of Tenth and or yeah Tenth and Beverly, where Stanley's number two used to be. And twelve years is amazing as well. Uh, yeah, you got seventy five, but twelve yeah. is awesome. <laughs> yeah. hey, it, you know, it's it's been good. You know, we we enjoy doing what we're done. We enjoy the people. You know, so that's that's all that matters. So, how did you come up with the name? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> we, we were actually not going to use that name because there was another Willie's place in Texas. Really? Oh, is that right? Willie Nelson's place. Oh, that's oh, yeah. right. At Carl's Corner. Yep. And everybody kept telling me, man, you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get sued. I said, look, I said, little guy like me in a little old town has no comparison to him and his name. Yeah. If he wants to call me and throw a fit, I can just say I enjoyed talking to him. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I never heard anything from it. It worked out. I don't so. see Willie Nelson's being very litigious <laughs> no. either. Did you uh, say Carl's Corner's at the city on the way to Waco, uh -huh. south of I-35? I didn't know there was anything in Carl's Corner. He had Corner. a truck stop right there. Yep. That was his. Yeah, That's the so, only thing I, in that city. And I still get phone calls. Yeah. People are calling information looking for Willie's place, and they'll, they'll transfer and I'll answer the phone. What drink specials you got? I got coke and nuts forever. <laughs> you know, who's playing in the band tonight? I don't have a stage, so he got the wrong one. But it's, it's, that's been going on for 12 years, and I think they've been closed for a while. That's funny. So, Willie, what kind of food do y'all have at Willie's Place? Burgers and barbecue. Okay. And dessert. Okay. <laughs> so I, I was born and raised in Wichita Falls, and, um, you know, we would always go to Scott's or Jean's or Ronnie's or whatever. So what kind of made you want to get into the, the burger <coughs> arena? Well, I grew up, my mom worked for Jean's. Uh-huh. And I mean, we had Christmas at Jean's family's house. I mean, it, it was just part of who I was. Yeah. And I worked at Dairy Queen through high school. Mm -hmm. So, and when I walked at Dairy Queen, I said, this is never going to be me never working in the restaurant business again yeah <laughs> and we owned a detail shop we detailed cars for 16 years and my back just finally it was time to find something else yeah and the building i'm in was vacant mm -hmm. i went down there and talked to the guy that owned the building made a deal with him and then called my wife and told me i told her i just closed the restaurant <laughs> or closed the detail shop down and you know her comment was well what are you gonna do for income yeah I said, we just opened up a restaurant. She said, no, we did not. <laughs> well, unbeknownst to her, it was already a done deal. Yeah. And, you know, she never worked in food. I wasn't sure that I really wanted to do this, uh -huh. but I knew I had to do something yeah. if I was going to keep from having surgery. Yeah. I ended up having to have back surgery anyway, so it was kind of irrelevant. But. Yeah. I've always enjoyed cooking, mm -hmm. you know. It was always never really planned on big scale. I didn't really want to do one certain food all the time because I can't make the same thing twice the same way. Yeah. You know, as my general cooking goes. Mm -hmm. With the restaurant, you know, I'm making the same thing numerous times all day long, so it has to be the same. Yeah. And, you know, so when we stepped off in it, we, the, we walked in there, Stanley Hill showed up at the restaurant, and 
sit down with me, talk to me for a long time. And, you know, we worked out a deal. And he come through the restaurant all the time to check on me. Yeah. You know, there's just not many places like that nowadays. Yeah. You know, somebody that's going to help you basically go against their business. I mean, because they still had a Stanley's open. Uh huh. And it worked out pretty good for us. You know, we became really good friends and, you know, it happened the way it was supposed to happen. Yeah. So. That's awesome. The first time I, I'm not from Wichita Falls, the first time I ate at Willie's Place was when I came to work here and Abel was leading, leading yep. and we all went to Willie's Place for his last day. And I'm yep. like, mm, it was good. How did I miss this? Which, uh, Willie, what's your favorite thing that you serve? I know you've, all, you've had it all a million times, but if you can remember. <laughs> My ribs. Yeah. And we're not, we're not really, we don't push a lot of barbecue because we're not a traditional barbecue joint. I mean, we, we do a lot of barbecue. We sell a lot of barbecue. My idea going in this was going to be strictly burgers. The my two favorite burgers are the grilled cheeseburger and the silly willy, which you've got right there. <laughs> this one right here. The silly willy is a cheeseburger with chopped brisket on it. Okay, yeah, and yeah, looks so the, steak and delicious. <laughs> but it, everybody in the restaurant knows if I cut ribs for an order, there's always one extra laying there when I get done cutting. Because <laughs> I'm going to eat a rib. The I just. I'm real partial to my ribs. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I think my brisket and everything's good too, but my ribs are my baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. uh, and same question we gave Vicky. Over the years, is there anything you can think of that stands out? Is there anything crazy that happened? In you there? realize where I'm located, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We, we've we've had a lot. You know, it's mm -hmm. none that just really stand out. You know the. I've had to throw a customer or two out of the restaurant. You know, it's, it is what it is. But, you know, for the most part, I tell everybody it's dinner and a show. <laughs> because there's literally something going on all the time. Whether it's the law stopping somebody out to the restaurant, somebody driving through my brick wall on this drive through It's something. Okay, so there's the, the story. <laughs> you know, somebody supposedly stole a car, and one of my customers called me and said, Willie, where are you at? I said, I'm on my way to the lake. He said, you might want to come by your restaurant. <laughs> I said, why? He said, because all the bricks are strung across the road. I'm thinking, well, my brick, my building's not brick. What are, what are you talking about? He said, your drive through Somebody oh. literally. <laughs> literally drove through the brick wall in between my building and drive and the road uh, and threw bricks half a block. Golly. And they found the car later that morning upside down in Holiday Creek. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. And, you know, it had been a, somebody stole the car. Yeah. And they're just driving down the road, and for some reason they took a hard left. <laughs> there wasn't a, no place to turn, no nothing. It was they wasn't trying to turn. It was just a hard left, and they left part of their car. So Golly. I cut one. The officer showed up. I said, "I can tell you what kind of car it is." He said, "Well, hey, you know that?" I pulled out the bumper, and I said, "There it is. That's 2013 Charger." <laughs> He said, well, that'll help. It's black, too. Well, later on that afternoon, we, we actually turned around after we cleaned it up and headed back to the lake, and my phone rang, and it was actually the kid that owned the car's mom. And she said, I think my son's car is the one that went through your brick wall. I said, okay, was your son driving? She said, no, we reported it stolen, I don't know, the night before or something. I don't know for sure. Well, we know it's not her then, so, you know. But, yeah, they took that whole wall out. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> and drove off. <laughs> didn't blow the tire out, didn't I, nothing. I okay. saw, I, I used to bartend at this place in uh, Dallas called uh, Wild Turkey, and it was on Harry Hines Boulevard, if you know anything about Harry Hines Boulevard. I know Harry Hines. And uh, just like a movie, I saw someone get thrown through a window. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm. A bar fight. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, well, there we go. A little bit less about the food here at the end. <laughs> That's a great story, Willie. Uh, one last thing uh, for, you know, those who don't know, yeah, give them your address and, and, and your hours of operation. Physical address, yeah. 3135 10th Street. We're on the corner of 10th and Beverly. All right. The, we're open Monday through Friday, 1030 to 7. Awesome. I don't know if we asked you your, your hours, Vicki. 
We're open Monday through Saturday, uh, 11.30 to 7.30 at night. There you go. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Sure appreciate you guys for yeah, coming thank by. You guys. And uh, we're just waiting for the cameras to stop rolling before we jump in on these delicious <laughs> red tacos. I'm going to stick a rib in the red taco and see what that tastes like. It'd probably be good. It probably yeah. would be. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. I have no clue what you're going to see in this third segment, but it's something. See you next week. <laughs>